The question in most analysts' mind is why Ruto, after getting the overwhelming support that he got from Central, decided to betray the mountain during the Iala nominations. Um, however, I wish to clarify one thing that from my prior pronouncements is that um, ever since Ruto was declared president, um, he seen all his actions, all his moves, all his uh, pronouncements seem to have been geared toward enticing the non-Kikuyu um, voting bloc. Um, he seems to be in the belief or rather paranoia that central kenya is going to abandon him come 2027 and so long as that's what he feels and so long as he wants to embrace the non-kikuyu zone the central kenya political bloc will continue being a liability to him the unique characteristic about the 41 tribes on that raila controlled in 2007 is that first of all it's multi-ethnic comprising 41 tribe coalition you know 40 tribe 35 to 40 tribe coalition, which is very hard to keep together um it's you know they are pretty diverse and it's very hard to unite them which is why raila despite being this figure that controls 70 to 80 percent of kenya's land mass has had a lot of problems you know keeping his coalition together uh, but they've been united um, by a desire uh, to work together you know a sort of a feeling that divided we fall united we stand we either hang together or be hang separately and so Without Raila in the picture, I think this tribe is this tribal zone is likely to crumble. Ruto sees an opportunity to take over or to salivate for this 41 tribe zone as we march towards uh, 2027. And so he's preparing early, uh, but he, that political zone requires a ton of positions to keep united and to give you the kind of uh, voting region of dominance as he did in the last election, you know, within his political base, which is pretty much Kalenjins and Kikuyus. So that region requires a ton of positions. And so Central Kenya has to be offended, okay? They have to be annoyed in order for them to react um, rationally or irrationally and so this iala thing was all set up to have rigadi get pissed off and probably start his journey or start to justify why um, ruto needs to make a move and look another way i think ruto's mind is made up to not go with central in the next election i think he finds it a liability he had to work very hard, you know, to get a national image, you know, so long as you're looking that direction. And so I think that Ruto is going to abandon Mount Kenya. I know it sounds sad, but it is, it is life. I mean, it is politics um, it's ugly politics, but he'll just have to abandon Central in order for Ruto to survive because so long as ruto continues to um to have his political future invested so much in central he remains a vulnerable fella because all it takes is for central to pull out and his entire political matrix collapses so ruto has to expand his territory ruto has to expand his horizons ruto has to put his eggs in multiple baskets and as much as he would appreciate votes from central kenya i don't think he doesn't believe he'll get them and so he doesn't think it is in his best interest to continue pursuing those votes he thinks it's a very costly um, vote basket 
and so um if you've got a wound or a hand that's rotting you know you just gotta cut it off and so that's what Ruto is going to do he's going to cut off central kenya and then he's gonna look look west um he's gonna look for the um the Luyas is gonna talk to Ryla. He may talk to Kalonzo. Or if I were Kalonzo, if I were Kalonzo, I would inherit Central because they are my cousins, and I can just talk to Rigavi, unite Central, unite Merus, unite Kikuyus, and those are his cousins, and then embrace Ryla. You know, have Ryla join me at the last minute. Um, and then he may come with a few lawyer votes and, uh, you know, boom, I would be competitive. And remember, Kalonzo would definitely be very competitive at the coast. You know, if coast embraces Kalonzo um, and with Ryla support and, and uh, Joho and all that cordery of ODM coastal politicians, if they stick with Kalonzo, uh, Kalonzo can do very well at the coast. He can actually do better than Ryla. So you would have Kalonzo sweeping coast, sweeping eastern, and probably sweeping, you know, um, the upper eastern, sweep the Gamma Nation. And then if Luos come on board, um, he would have a very sweet night that day of August in 2027. You know, so long as elections are free and fair, you always have to ask for that. So, yeah, we look forward to seeing how this unfolds. But now, politics is becoming very interesting.